course. Um, we are going to kick off the recording. Hopefully, is there some feed, like, is there some weird feedback for you? Not on my end. Okay, good deal. Okay, if there is, just let me know. But um, let's go ahead and rock and roll. We'll get started in your free. Oh no, am I really? There you go, you moved. Well, let me turn off, I've got Wi-Fi here, but let me turn it off just in case it slows us down. Yeah, now you're frozen again, okay. All right, how about now? Can you hear me now? Yes, yeah. we're good. Okay. okay, good. Let's rock and roll. Okay guys, um, you, I'm so excited. I'm so excited for tonight. Our like, guests, I swear, just keep getting better and better and better. And Kimmy, I'm so excited to have you along with us tonight. For those of you that don't know, my name's Lisa Gag. I'm an ambassador Diamond It Works. And we have along with us, honestly, you guys, like this is the most like awesome guest we could possibly have. Um, Cammy is our, I want to say this right, our senior vice president of field development. So, yeah. um, we are like so excited for like the time that we're in and I'm so excited. I feel like now 2017 is almost like the 2011 and 2012 because I've been in for over six years. So I'm excited to hear what you have to say <laughs> to see where we're going and, and what all things we have to look forward to gosh i i like am almost speechless you know we've had some pr pretty incredible period seasons in our business you know i think back to you know we've had um we've had software changes we've had shipping issues we've had uh the grid bonus era we've had um wrap shortages and then we've had software issues again and now we're going to be talking about the summer of 2017 and the $9.99 business builder kit phenomenon. You know what I'm saying? Oh, we're all back and it's going to be this huge moment in time where many of you are going to be on stage giving your ambassador speech, your ambassador speech. And you're going to go, it honestly, it started when they did the business builder kits for $9.99 because that's when I found the people that moved my business from point A to point A. X, right? And so, I, you know, Alicia, this is just wild. And I, you know, after 12 years in the business, you think, I don't know if there's anything else that, I, you know, could blow my mind. And my mind has been blown officially the last days of June. Absolutely. I love it. We have so many new team members that are on with us tonight. Awesome. So what I really want you to kind of do is just group cast a vision and just like I've done my best of just showing them what they have their hands on, but if you can do that, like that's just so awesome. Okay, so I'm going to start, Alicia, just since we do have so many new people on the call. I'm going to start with just telling you guys a little bit about my story. And it really does, the reason I'm going to tell you is because I, I believe once you hear my story, you're going to find yourself relating to a piece of it that you're going to go, wow, this is something I can do. So let's just take it back to the early 90s. My parents joined a home-based business. They, get, they got involved into a business very similar to the kind of business like It Works Global is today, poised in the position like It Works is in. And so in the 90s, my parents started a home-based business. I knew nothing about the industry. I was in middle school, but I, I kind of was raised in the industry, if you will. I followed my dad. You know, I'd ride with him to and from meetings, and I'd sit in the back of the room and do my homework for the night while I was listening to him give his presentations. And, you know, I remember hearing a lot of buzzwords like residual income and, um, you know, so I heard residual income a lot. I heard about transitions in life where, you know, you, you hit this phase in your life where something has got to change. You know, tomorrow cannot look anything like today. So I remember sitting there and being a part of that. I watched what this company did to, for our family. I watched my parents who made gifts for each other for Christmas so many years in a row because they just didn't have money to buy gifts for each other. You know, and I wouldn't say I did without. I didn't feel like I did without, but I really had no idea how tight things were for my parents. And so, you know, fast forward a couple of years, I'm in college. I actually joined that company with them. 
Unfortunately, I joined kind of at the end. The, their product, they, were, they did not keep up with the times. Their product was one that kind of dissolved. They, and so unfortunately, that company is no longer in business today. But because of the uh, financial freedom my parents gained through that company, they started It Works Global. And it work started in 2001. And what's interesting is I did not join the business in 2001. And, and for those of you who know my story, you may or may not know, I actually did join the company a couple times before I actually decided to build with the company. And uh, I did not come in on the corporate side. I wanted nothing to do with it. All I ever wanted for my life was to teach and to coach. But then I got pregnant with Landon. So I hit one of those transition periods that I heard my dad talk about over and over and over again. And all of a sudden it was like the light bulb went on, the switch flipped, and I was like, wait a minute, what am I doing? I'm going to go to school and raise everybody else's kids while somebody's home raising mine. And some of the things that I was looking for that I, that I knew you should look for in the right company to join, because folks, at the end of the day, this, this industry is not on trial anymore. It's not about a matter of if you should join the industry, it's which company should you partner with? Which company should you align yourself with? And I say that because every single household should have a residual income. And some of you might say to me, what is a residual income? Well, see, that, that's the thing that the, you know, the industry used to scream loud about. And, and, and it partly was because the industry was trying to make a name for itself, but that's not the case anymore. It is a reputable business model that everybody should have an income stream through a home-based business. So residual income, you know, as a teacher, I, I have residual income. If I didn't go to work, I'd be paid. You know, I, I had a salary set. Um, I, it was big. And, you know, on being the best teacher, it was based on the amount of school years I'd been teaching and the amount of education that I had. You know, a, a real estate agent does not have a residual income. You know, they sell a house and, and they have to go out and go back to work the next day to sell another house. Wouldn't it be interesting if they sold a house and every time that family walked through the front door or turned on the lights, they got a percentage of that bill that they, that they uh, electricity? We've got a little background noise, Alicia. I don't know if people should just uh, mute. I get so distracted. I'm like a child, you know. I'm just like, oh, oh, what's that? What's let's, that? Let's mute everybody. <laughs> okay, go ahead and unmute yourself now again, Cammy. There we go. I did. Okay. Um, so. You know, a, a real estate agent does not have residual income. A car salesman does not have residual income. You sell a car, it'd be nice if every time they turn the motor on, you got paid, right? You don't, though. You sell it, you get a commission, then you got to go back to work and sell another car to get paid. Uh, teaching, I didn't have residual income. So in a business like It Works, you have what we call residual income. You know, when you, be, when you, you know, find somebody that wants to use our products, Every month that they purchase one of our products, you get paid. So you get paid on something a minimum of three times with our company when they become a customer. If they become a distributor, they're going to be product of the product. They're going to keep ordering month after month, and you get a piece of that. And as, as long as they order as customers, you get a piece of that. And we're doing things all the time to add to the longevity and the um, – you know, just the consistency of our customers. So again, right there tells you you're going to want a product that's consumable, something that they need to order month after month after month, right? So long story short, I joined It Works in 2006. I did not join It Works in 2001 when they opened. Well, I did, but I didn't do anything with it. I joined again in about 2003, did not do anything with it. Joined in 2006 because I had a why. I, I had a need. I knew I needed to make some extra money so that I could be home and raise my family while they were young. And that's when it was just like the veil was lifted off my eyes. When I, you know, when I was introduced to It Works, I certainly was uh, in full support of, of the family company. I was in full support of these products. You know, I, I can't say I was a believer necessarily. I mean, I was about a size two and didn't really have anywhere on my body I needed to tighten, tone, and firm. But after I had my son Landon, you better believe I was, I bought myself a box of wraps because I was all about getting my body back after having Landon and getting myself into a two-piece bathing suit. But, you know, once that shift happened in my own life and I was looking for something, 
you know, what I loved about it works was I, I loved that my parents owned the company. I know the ethics of my parents. I knew that they weren't just going to start something, make a quick buck and then dissolve it. I knew that when my parents do something, they do it right and they see it through to the end. I knew that about them. I love that my parents are Christians. I love knowing there was uh, values and a Christian-based foundation. Now, on the flip side of it, I also knew that my dad had been extremely successful in the industry. He was one of the top 10 income earners um, for their company. And because they did so well, he had set aside a lot of money to start at works, but more importantly, he'd been a part of some other companies and he'd done pretty well, but they closed their doors really quickly. So unfortunately, you know, he had seen many different kinds of comp plans, many different kinds of leadership styles, and he decided to blend and merge what he had seen out there to create the best compensation plan, at least that he could put together, that he could, you know, wrap his head around. And I can say with complete honesty and, and enthusiasm that there's no better comp plan out there yet to this day. We pay out 52 cents on every dollar. Do you know why we can do that? Because we're a debt-free company. Debt-free companies can pay out more money. So the comp plan is a big deal when you're looking at joining a company like this. Whether you want part-time income, or full-time income. It doesn't matter. You want a good comp plan that's going to pay you for your efforts. And what I love about a business like this is, unlike teaching, there's merit pay. If I want to work my butt off, my work ethic can write my paycheck. And that's the same in, in a business like this. And for many of you, you join for $9.99. And if you didn't join for $9.99, maybe you got the $59 promotional kit. Maybe you paid $99. I promise you it was still worth every penny of that $99. I paid $299. I do it all day long, over and over and over again because of the value of what this business is for each and every one of us. So, you know, the comp plan is stellar. Uh, you know, we have not changed a comp plan in over 15 years. Most companies start paying out less as the company starts doing better. We never change our comp plan except to pay out more money. And we do that because we can. We're a debt-free company. And so lots of good things. we got a consumable product, but more importantly, a flagship product line. Um, you know, our, our ultimate body wrap is a one-of-a-kind product that nobody else has. So what, what I'm trying to tell you is you can plant your flag and know that you have joined the best company out there. And there's a lot of good ones out there, but there is no other company I would rather be a part of. And, uh, you know, when I look at what we just did in the last six days of June, I think we got a lot of people that don't even know what they have their hands on yet. And so I want to be one of the first people that tells you outside of the person that sponsored because I promise you they're really excited and they've probably been just you know, emphatically telling you, we got to do this, we got to do that, because you have no idea what you're having your hands on. But here's what I want you to know. Get on some of these products. If you've never tried our products, get on the products. You know, in order to be qualified to earn your commissions every month, we have something we call auto ship. And the auto ship is going to allow you to earn on your team's uh, uh, purchases, your team's customers, you know, each and every month. And the minimum on that is 80 BV, which is about an $80 product order plus tax and shipping. And I say that because, you know, one of the best parts of residual income is most people don't join a business because life, they, you know, they plan on life happening. But when you build a residual income and life does happen, you have something to fall back on. So my parents did not join their first company because uh, you know, hey, if, if anything would ever happen to my girls, I just would love to have a backup plan so that I could be at the hospital with them every day. They didn't join the company for that. They joined the company to make an extra $500 to pay off credit card debt. And they were doing that. But then it started surpassing that. And then guess what? My sister and I got in a really, really bad car accident, and I was in the hospital for three months. I was under intensive therapy, you know, didn't remember anything for months on end. And because of their their at-home business, their residual business, they put the brakes on everything. They stayed by my bedside at the hospital for months in a row, and their income did not just remain consistent, it actually grew. It grew because of the leveraging of the efforts of other people. And because of that investment into themselves and into that business, 
They're, they had a plan B when life happened. And I want to promise you guys this. Life is going to happen. It's not a matter of if. It's a matter of when and how often. And I can, you know, I, my, my friend, my first distributor that joined me was a real estate agent. And I'll never forget two years in the business, she called me on a vacation and she said, my husband and I just realized something. We've never been able to leave on a vacation and still get paid. Every time we left on a vacation, we had to work extra hard before we left, extra hard when we got back, because we only got paid on what we, what we sold in the, in the moment. Hairstylists, right? Does that sound familiar? You know, and, and so, gosh, I just, I just love what we have our hands on. So get your auto ship set up, because it's a very inexpensive insurance policy to never miss a, a paycheck, to never miss anything coming for you, including all freebies, promos, um, incentives. We have so many incentives out there. And the first one, I want you all focused on whether you're brand new with us or you're not. The first thing you all should be focused on beyond getting that auto ship, starting your training academy, is gathering those first four loyal customers. You get to go shopping and spend $100 on product, gear, tools, or a combination of all of those once you gather four loyals. And I am telling you, all you need to do is call some friends or family, you know, a neighbor, a boss, somebody you work with, uh, maybe one of your kid's parents, one of your kid's friend's parents, you know, and tell them about some of the products we have. And if you've never tried them yet, get in there, read about them, see what sounds interesting to you. Tell them you'd love their support, their testimony, so that you can add that to your your repertoire, if you will, as you're going out there and building your business. So gather those four loyals and then start thinking about who you know that might benefit from these products and business. Because right now for the next two, you got less than a day, but so you got two, two and a half days left of our $59 business builder promotion. And I don't want you to think you have to do this by yourself because I know if Alicia is your line of sponsorship, if she's not your go-to person, there's going to be somebody within this organization that is here to help you. We can only get where we want to go when we help you go where you want to go. And so just, you know, let's, look, we're going to schedule one-on-ones, uh, -on parties, um, Zooms, anything you need. We want to be there for your support. So you're in business for yourself, but not by yourself. And for the rest of you on this call that are not brand new, we pay you so well to help them bring people in their business, gather those customers, and uh, that, that's what it's about. It's that easy, and it's fun because we get to do it together, right, Alicia? Oh, my gosh, yes. I'm so glad that you touched base on getting those four little customers because it is truly allowing them to unlock our compensation plan, which, like you said, unlike any other out there. Um, so... I know you said one thing that's going to help them go out and get those loyal customers is to pick up the phone, you know, call your mom, your sister, your friend, your coworker, your neighbor, like call these people and, and ask them to support you in this business and in your opportunity. Is there another tip that you have for these newbies to gather customers in these 30 days? Yeah. You know what I'm thinking? I was thinking if you all took a selfie after you get, get off. Okay. I want, this is a two part assignment. Okay. I want you to take a selfie when you get off of this zoom, you know, one with like a, ah, you know, like I'm so excited. And you know, it's like your grand opening, letting people know you're open for business and you know, maybe make a post that says something similar to uh, I just started my very own business with It Works. I can't wait to get my wrap on. And post that on social media. Anybody that likes or comments, you're just going to simply private message and you're going to say, um, have you ever tried the It Works wrap? That's it. Have you ever tried the It Works wrap? If they say yes, that's okay. Great. What would you think about it? How did it work? Uh, if they said they loved it, are you ordering it? Are you, are you a customer? Are you in the business? It's a great way to start dialogue, but make sure every like and comment you get, you private message. Second part, then I want you to start texting people on your contact list, people that you, that you, you know, you met from your, your past and your present. If you haven't started your hundreds list, you will start it after we get off the Zoom. If, if I were going to pay you $100 for every name you put on a list to talk to about your business, how many names would you put on? 
that list because it, you know, you get to decide if you want to put 10, okay, that's fine. That's about a thousand dollars worth of prospects. If you want to put on a hundred, that's $10,000 worth of bonus prospects. And again, if I were to give you a hundred dollars for every name you put down, how many names would you put down? How deep would you dig to think about every friend, acquaintance, acquaintance of acquaintance, you know, colleagues that you've ever worked with over the course of your life in any job you've ever had, pull out those yearbooks, you know, think, look through that friend list on social media. Who have you not been in touch with in a while? Send them a message that simply says, have you seen what I just started doing? That's it. Have you seen what I just started doing? You guys are going to do one of two things. They're either going to go crap, what's she doing? And they're going to get on social media and look, right? So make sure you have that post out first. Or they're going to go, no, what are you doing? And then you're simply going to say, I just started my very own business with It Works. Have you ever tried the It Works rap? That's it. And start the conversation. I just want you guys to know anytime I've ever sponsored or recruited anybody, it was not like a slam dunk one, one time question and it was, up, it was over. It's a relationship. It's a conversation. And it's a conversation that my goal is to move them from point A to point C being customer, D being a distributor. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, and, and I do that through simply asking. And so, you know, Barb Hauser, Ambassador Diamond out of Canada says you got to make an ask out of yourself and posting is not asking. Okay. It's one thing you can do. It, it's a piece of the pie, but you know, make that post and then start messaging people so that, you know, the biggest, the worst thing you can do is post and go, well, they'll come to me when they're ready. Well, just so you know, Facebook makes sure that like barely 5% of your friend list ever sees a post, unless you're actually engaging with them on a regular basis. So get over that mindset and just start messaging people after you make that post. But don't start messaging until you've actually made that post that people are like, oh, what's she so excited about when it, when it goes through their feed and catches their attention, right? Right. I um, relate that to fishing. You know, it's like you have to throw that lure out, but I mean, you got to do something else with it. You know, the fish aren't always going to come to it. So I relate that a lot to fishing. You got to take a step further than that post. You have to be messaging these people. Um, okay, you have a wealth of knowledge. We sit here and I could talk to you all day long, like your tips, your advice, all of it, but we're not going to take all of it. So, uh, <laughs> one thing that I do just kind of want to end it with is, you know, when we sit here and I listen to you talk, I, I can hear your passion and I can hear your excitement and I can feel it. And I really think that, that is a major component of being successful, um, especially in network marketing and what we're in. So, um, for all of those that are on here, like, would that be a, a key like piece of advice you would offer them is just to hold on to that excitement or like, what would you tell them? I think whether you're brand new and you really don't even know what you've got your hands on or you're really trying to wrap your head around this still, um, or whether you've been for a year or 10 years, mm -hmm. you've got to make events one of the main priorities for your business. And I'm telling you this because until you understand what you have your hands on, until you really wrap your head around what it works is, it's going to be an event that opens your mind to it. It's going to be an event that helps you buy into what you're here for. It's going to be an event that helps you identify with somebody that is actually doing what you need to be doing or want to be doing that helps you all of a sudden just realize there's nothing different between them and you. And so you might as well go after it. Why not? Why not you? Why not now? That's going to be what happens. That's going to be the encounter you have at that event. For those of you that are in, and maybe you've already had that come to Jesus moment at an event where you're like, oh, the sky's part, and you just know you're where you're supposed to be, you've got to stay at the events because you've got to stay close to the fire. There's an enemy out there that wants nothing more than to take you out of the game. Wants nothing more, especially, especially if you are moving and shaking and you are having a ton of success, he's really going to come after you because he does not want you to help change lives. He does not want you to change 
change your own life. He does not certainly want to help, does not want you to go out there and actually make a lot of other people's lives better. So he's going to do whatever he can to knock you down. So you got to stay close to the fire because you got to keep yourself around the dreamers and the doers. Because naturally, when you hang around people who are out there dreaming and doing for more, you're naturally going to want to be that kind of person. And so you got to get to events. And so stay coming to corporate events, stay coming to your team events, getting on the team calls. I mean, just when you think you don't need it or you couldn't love what we're doing anymore, I'm telling you, you have a bad day. Somebody does something that just, and it might not even have to do with it works. It's just in your personal life. It might be something to do with your children that you think I, I just got to, I got to focus on something else right now. But at the end of the day, you've got to stay focused on because if you want things to look different, if you want to a different for you, for you, it's going to be because of course and stay plugged in. So stay plugged in. Alicia, you are such a great example of that. I see you everywhere. I see you earning trips. I see you getting to events. I see you plugging into sidelines, not just your own downline. And I commend you for that because that's what makes the It Works culture, our It Works leadership, so very special. So you guys, if you're wondering, you know, am I on the, am I in the right place? Am I with the right company? Am I on the right team? The answer is yes, yes, and yes. So just go to work. Stop asking questions and just go to work. Once you take any form of, if, once, you, once you just decide, hey, it's not a matter of if, it's just a matter of when, there's nothing that will keep you from getting where you want to go. That's it. Amen. I love it. Kimmy, thank you so much. I know you. that you're on the ranch and you're just having a really good time with the family, and I appreciate you taking the time out to, to talk to us. Why are so many? So I said, how, how dare I try to plan a vacation? We really did not know we were going to do this till two weeks before, but the Lord knew because he had all these other things lined up that we'd been working on. But once we knew, I went, well, there goes that vacation. But that's all right because when you love what you do, you don't work a day in your life. That's right. Make sure you tell your mom and dad that Team BG team hello, and okay. we are on fire. So thank you again. Have a good evening, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys. Thanks for including me. Bye, Cammie.